Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a review on a concealer from a brand that I really love their skincare products, but I haven't been too fond of their makeup products. Now, granted, I only tried one of their products before, so I really wanted to give them another chance and see how their concealer worked. The product that I'm going to be reviewing today is The Ordinaries Concealer. If you are thinking about purchasing this product, watch to find out what you need to know before you buy. I purchased this product at Ulta and it cost $7. On the Ordinary website, it is also $7, which I think is a fair price for concealers, especially drugstore concealers. Their color range is different on the Ordinary website and then on the Ulta website. On the Ordinary's website, it comes in 36 different shades. And on the Ulta website, it says that it's a 21 shade range. You get more variety on the Ordinary, but for some reason on the Ordinary's website, a lot of the colors are sold out. For the brand, the 36 color shade range for the concealer is really good and they have a really good variety. They even break down like how their shade range works. They first categorize it by like one, two, three, and four, which is one for light tones, two for medium, three for medium to deep, and then four for deeper tones. And then there's a digit after that. So it could say like 2.0, 2.1, something like that to get deeper within like the medium tone range. And then they also categorize it further with a letter. So it's either P, R, Y, or N. Y for yellow, which is more for the warm undertones. Then you have N for neutral undertones. And then P or R, which is pink or red for the cool undertones. They don't have many claims about this concealer. Like their biggest claim about it is that it's supposed to be really high coverage and supposed to give you like a natural skin finish. I feel like those two claim, not a lot of products can do both of those things, like be really high coverage and be natural on the skin. So that's what it claims though. And it's supposed to avoid like this, the heavy cakey look, which makes your skin look aged. So yeah, that is some of the claims that comes in this box, which is pretty standard for like even their skincare products. So it comes in this little tube here and opening it further comes with that. So I'm not really used to using concealers that are like this, like out of a tube. I always use concealers with the wand. The concealer that I always use is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. The color that I purchased is 2.0 Neutral. So I was reading some of the reviews on the websites and a lot of people were saying that the color that they purchased was too light for them. So usually I feel like for concealers, I would go more toward like the lighter tone range, but this time I decided because of the reviews, because people were saying that their color was a, a, lit, a bit too light for them, I decided to go to like the bottom of the medium tone range and go for neutral. Now, I purchased this before I started trying out foundations that were in the cool undertone range which somehow like does work for me too I am wearing a neutral undertone foundation right now just so that it can match like the neutral undertone of this concealer the foundation that I'm using right now is the elf camo CC cream this tube comes with 0.3 ounces and in comparison to the concealer that I usually use the elf camo concealer that comes in 0.2 ounces so the way that I'm going to be doing this review the directions online say to either use a brush or to blend out with your fingers I usually never use use my fingers to blend out so I wouldn't really do that but I'm going to do one side with a brush and then I'll do the other side with a sponge because that's normally how I do my concealer and then we'll see the comparison. I did see a lot of reviews saying that this this concealer was very drying so maybe applying with a sponge because it's wet will help it not be so drying. I don't know. So let's get started. There you can see the color. I kind of rubbing it out there is the color on my hand and it is a little bit darker than my hand but my hand is a lot lighter than my face so i think i feel like i was right in choosing like more the lower end of the medium tones these are usually the spots that i place the concealer
I'm just applying it to the left side of my face first. I'm going to use this brush, this Morphe brush. It's the only like brush that I have. Like I said, I don't usually use a brush to you do my concealer. So this is really the only like, like foundation concealer brush that I have. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the right side and we'll blend that out with a sponge. You pulled miracles, I was living every word you said. little bit more under my eye I just feel like there's not enough coverage there so let me okay that might have been too much <laughs> now I feel like I need to put a little bit more on this side to even it out because of how much I put under the right side I feel like this left side is lacking some coverage. Come on and dance. Okay, so this side here you can see is with the brush and then this side here is with the sponge. Okay, I just looked like really close into the mirror and I noticed like how bad it looked. <laughs> like I feel like I kept looking in the viewfinder and I was like, oh, it's not too bad. It's pretty bad. If you look up close, you can see like how drying it is. Even though I put so much on this side, I feel like there are some spots that are missing concealer. I feel like it didn't blend well. It's kind of bunching in spots and it looks really drying. On the brush side, I feel the same thing. I feel like the brush side actually looks better than the sponge side. I feel like the sponge side, it made it more cakey which is really weird because i feel like the sponge sides usually make it appear like you have less makeup on and i don't know if it's because i put so much on that but i thought tr i tried to even it out i put more on this side too oh i'm not really ugh, i'm not liking the way this foundation is looking like now that i look in the mirror it doesn't look good it's separating it's separating in a lot of spots like even down my nose here like i don't know if you can see but it's also separating on my nose i'm going to bake my concealer and I don't know if that's gonna help at all, but I am going to bake it. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then um, I will come back, show you what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I am back. I have all of the rest of my makeup on. I just applied some contour and I did my eyes. So let me do a close up of what the concealer is looking like with all of the other makeup applied. This is the first time in a long time that I've said that the brush side is better. When using the sponge, I feel like I got more coverage, but I got more cakey coverage. And I feel like it's bunching up in certain areas. It doesn't look as smooth, but it gives you more coverage. I feel like there are, it's less dark on this right side. Now the left side uh, with the brush, I feel like it didn't cover as much. But I feel like it looks smoother. Now with this type of concealer, because it's not a wand type, probably using your fingers is gonna be the best way to go. Now I'm thinking like, should I do a video of this with using my fingers? Because like, you're already using your fingers to apply it to certain areas. I feel like using the brush and the sponge, even though I like the brush better, it still didn't give me like maybe what the full potential of this concealer could give me. I I don't really see it as like high coverage and natural looking. I feel like, yeah, this side was high coverage, but it was very cakey and it's very drying. And maybe using the fingers is gonna work better. I mean, they say to use your fingers to blend out or a brush. So 
I might as well try it tomorrow with my fingers just to give it like another chance and see if I could possibly like this concealer because right now first impression wise like I'm not loving it like I feel like it doesn't compare to my, the concealers that I already use and it was just it's kind of hard to apply I'm going to wear this concealer at the end of the day and then tomorrow I will be back and I will put this concealer on using my fingers and we'll see if that works a little bit better but yeah i will see you guys at the end of the day and show you guys what my concealer is looking like all right guys so it is the end of my day and i have been wearing the concealer for about eight hours now let me do a close-up so you guys can see what the concealer looks like with all the oils with all this wear time Set the stage on fire. like my whole face is really really oily and everything I feel like right under my eye still looks very dry I think both sides were cakey and dry I feel like yeah the brush side was better but I don't think it's something that I would want in a concealer like going forward we'll see tomorrow if this concealer will do better with applying with the fingertips but as of now Mm, not really feeling it so i will see you guys tomorrow and we will try this over again and try a new way of applying this concealer right, so i am back to give this concealer another try this time we're going to use our hands and see if that works better than the brush and the sponge i did apply the elf camo cc cream and i do have my brows done so same makeup as i had before let's start to apply on this side because I feel like I put too much here. Left to dance. These were moments that I hoped would last. Take what I'm going to do the other side, but I'm putting that much now. <clears throat> Cause I already have a little bit on there. From the past, the past. The future is not worth fighting. We we'll look to the stars to ride it. Right away, I'm going to bake this concealer. Using the finger, it hasn't really dried down. And I want to kind of set it in place before it starts moving around a lot. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of my makeup just so I can let that sit. And then let me give you guys my first impressions on applying this concealer with the finger. So I literally only put on a little bit of eyeliner and then some mascara. I feel like my first impressions haven't really changed. When I used the brush and the sponge to apply, it was kind of hard to place the concealer because I had to use my finger to place it because of the way the concealer is. It's in like a tube and you don't have a wand to apply the concealer into specific spots. So it was kind of messy in that sense. I feel like using the fingers, yeah, it was easier to put on the concealer, but I feel like I still didn't know like how much to put on. And when I initially applied it, it was a lot of concealer. I felt like, cause I only put concealer on like the inner corner here and then on this side over here for my eyes. Um, I couldn't really do that still with this, with using my hand. What I realized with this concealer, it doesn't blend into your foundation very well. It kind of sits on top of it. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out like, cause I kept looking at it and I'm like, why does it look so heavy, so cakey? It's because it's kind of just like sitting on top of the foundation. It's not really blending in. I feel like when I use other concealers, it really blends in with your foundation. So it looks pretty seamless while still brightening your under eye. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's like brightened my under eye, but it's pretty heavy and it really just sits on there. I wish you guys can see like, I don't know if this is gonna do it justice. Cause like when I look into the mirror, like you can just see that there's a lot of separation. Like you can really tell like where the concealer is and where the foundation is. And it's just kind of sitting on top of it. And then as far as the color, I feel like this is definitely too yellow for me. I am gonna do a wear test. I do have a lot less makeup so we can really focus on the concealer. I am going to wear it throughout the day, see how it does. But 
My first impression is pretty much the same. I feel like using the fingers didn't really make a difference. I think it still looks heavy, it looks cakey, separates, doesn't blend in with the foundation. I kind of know where my final thoughts are going for this concealer, but you know, I might as well give it the wear test try and see how it goes. So I'll see you guys at the end of my day. Okay, everybody, so it is 10.30 at night. I have been wearing this concealer for about six hours. This is what it's looking like. Come on and dance, baby. Dance you feel the, the concealer is definitely not holding in certain spots. You can tell definitely like in my fine lines, it has definitely come off. It's pretty drying. And it still kind of looks like cakey because it's kind of just like sitting on top of the foundation like I said before. The one thing I will give this concealer though is like you can see like the rest of my face is pretty oily. And I guess because this concealer is so drying, it kind of stayed in the, <laughs> it kind of stayed and it looks like like under my eyes basically has the most coverage out of my whole face because my foundation kind of has been removed with the oiliness and all of that but the concealer still stayed. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> you can probably guess like my overall thoughts on this concealer. I've tried it now with a, with a brush, with a sponge, and now with my fingers, and all three unfortunately did not work for me. Will I continue to use the Ordinaries concealer? And that is a big no. I will not continue to use the Ordinaries concealer. It really didn't work for my skin and it was just really hard to apply and I couldn't apply it like correctly and the way that I prefer my concealer in the spots that I prefer concealer. It sucks because I love a lot of the Ordinary's products and I think they are very affordable and they do have very high quality products, but this one, it just didn't work out for me. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on the Ordinary's Concealer. If you want to follow me on all of my other social media, I am at Jen so Called Life on Facebook and on Instagram, and I will be back next week with another video. Bye guys.